Like I said, what about Nikki? Nikki ain't no fucking singer. Cardi ain't no fucking singer. Those are the biggest females. And Cardi, Nikki, and, and Carisha, and JT are not singers. And 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 y'all y'all are gonna say that 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 they don't please they they don't write their own shit. That I mean, because they're singers. They they I mean, y'all talking about um singers write their own shit that or singers don't write their own shit. So what? So they're th those aren't singers. Those are rappers. So are y'all gonna are y'all gonna say something about that or no? Cause y'all like them, right? So we not no, we not gonna say nothing. Oh, it's not that serious now. Now it's not that serious. That shit happens all the time. Fucking Neo wrote, um, um, uh, to the left, to the left, everything you own. That song was written for, for, uh, for a girl. And Beyonce went, uh, Beyonce on that, right? Yeah, Beyonce went and changed that for a girl. I mean, for a girl speaking to a guy. People don't know. You could, you could look up. You could find the demo. You could find the demo, the demo track from, oh, here. Credits on all music. Safari Samuels. He has written for. Since y'all always say I'm lying, y'all see those names there? I don't think it. I don't think it's working. But um, K. Michelle, Nicki Minaj, Nicki Minaj, Nicki Minaj, Nicki Minaj, and this was all on Pink Friday. Roman Reloaded. Tell me, I don't see why be on there. Let me tell y'all something, okay? DJ Chose wrote the hook to No Smoke, okay? So please, get the fuck out of my face. I was there when he was doing that song, so stop. Yeah, and Yachty wrote, right, and people know Yachty wrote that, mom, stop. Yachty wrote, um, fucking act up, and y'all wasn't jumping down Carisha or JT's neck. So, please, get the fuck out of here. Like, y'all, y'all, like, literally, Yachty said it. I wrote, I wrote this for the city girls. Like, like, it, it's a public thing, Yachty. Mic check one two one two. Cloud tokens here. Make sure you subscribe for more content. If you don't, I will harass you in the comments. This is a known fact. Do not test me. Alright, so look. The Bobs aren't gonna like this one. The Caucasian princess of hip hop has just came for the queen by exposing several of our favorite artists. So Bad Baby goes on live, and for some reason, I guess she's not having a good day. She's bitter about that nobody respects her as a rapper because people write for her. Hold on, my bad. I got cuss on my mom. Hey, ma. You a bitch. Why would you cheat on my father, you stupid bitch? All right, now what was I saying? So, um, so she exposes Nicki Minaj for having writers, and the writer is Safari Samuel. Now she goes online and pulls up a website that shows all the credits and writers and proves that he wrote a and composed, executive produced what most people consider her best album, The Pink Print, also Pink Friday and other things. So it is it a coincidence that now every time Nicki Minaj drops a record, it's not a mega hit. It doesn't last long. Nobody's talking about it after like a couple weeks. After Safari and her breakup. And he's no longer composing, being the lyricist, the A&R, the producer. He's no longer being any of that. And now her prime is over. When she was with Safari in her prime, crazy, goat shit. Now they're not together. It's like she can't stay on the charts. Nobody is playing her for weeks other than her core fans. So it can't be a coincidence. I don't know. I know the Bob's going to be mad at me about this, but hey, the facts is the facts. I'm kind of scared for my life. If Kenneth see this video, he might kill me. Shit, if he see this video, I heard he like girls' bad baby age, so I don't know. Should I post it or? Fuck it, I'ma post it anyway. So then she went to expose her ex cult leader, known as NBA Youngboy. 
So if you didn't know, a couple years ago, Bad Baby and NBA Youngboy used to date or fuck around, whatever the fuck you want to call it. And ever since they haven't been talking anymore, NBA Youngboy seemed to cut her off. She's just been bitter, going off on him, exposing him, dating his ops, Fredo Bang. And now she went on live and said that No Smoke, which is NBA Youngboy's latest platinum record, was written, the hook was written by somebody else by the name of DJ Charles. Now I tried to look this up the same way I looked up the Safari writing thing. But it's a difference between a ghostwriter and a writer. So Safari got credited for writing Nicki Minaj's albums or helping her with it, helping her write it. But in this case, there was no proof or credits that somebody else wrote a hook on No Smoke for NBA Youngboy. And it doesn't mean that he didn't have a writer. He could just have a ghostwriter. Ghostwriters don't get written in public. They are behind the scenes making big money, but they just don't get credit for it. But y'all let me know what y'all think. Do you believe NBA Youngboy had his songs written for him? Or is she just trying to defame him because he left her for other girls? Let me know. Make sure you like, subscribe, and comment. And I'm out.